Hey what's up Ian here and I'm back with another review video and this time I'd like to talk about this Tangju Divinus Fudu Verse 1. Uh, this is a 1DD plus 1BAIEM and the retail price for this is 89 US dollars. It's available on Hi-Fi Go's website so if you guys are interested to find out more do check out the unaffiliated link in the description below. Now I've already unboxed this so if you haven't watched that video I'll leave a link somewhere up here but in this video I'm just going to focus on my review and sound impression of this Fudu. Alright so let's begin. First let's talk about the accessories. I like the accessories. It's uh, for $89 the accessories that comes with it is quite premium. Uh, the pouch is uh, made of real leather. It feels really nice. Smells good as well and the uh, ear tips are of quality ear tips uh, I've uh, used. In fact uh, bought the Divinus uh, ear tips uh, I think a few months ago and this uh, ear tips are really good uh, for the Tangjo Sunchai uh, ear tips side they are pretty good it's, I mean it's quality ear tips it's a premium ear tip uh, it's a little bit on the grippy side and also it does articulate it's similar to these uh, spin fits uh, CP145s and you know it does have that kind of uh, uh, characteristics so again these are two quality ear tips and as for the cable I like the cable itself it's terminated with 4.4 pretty nice it's OFC cable uh, it's uh, nice and grippy and it's got good it feels premium to the hands so uh, I like this cable as well now in terms of the uh, design and build quality of the earphones uh, the build quality is normal I mean it's uh, 3d printed but it's a good quality 3d printing of the inner shell and the faceplate is uh, well nice design as well it's a small form factor earphone so it fits my ear very well goes into my ear doesn't give me any pain or discomfort and I've been wearing this the entire day with no issues at all okay all right so that's for the fit and comfort and everything else let's now talk about sound first let's talk about drivability for this and uh, these are very easy to drive uh, I've been listening to this at a volume level of about uh, 40 to 50 percent volume uh, I've used it on my iPhone iPad Android phones uh, and my dongles and dabs so no problems driving this now in terms of gear matching i would re recommend something that is warmer right things like ipods uh sony's they sound really nice on this and for dongles the fc6 uh the high b fc6 so yeah they they match a warm sounding source okay now in terms of tone and timbre for this this is a uh, fun casual uh, easy to listen to earphones, uh, very musical I would say and uh, overall a very heavy in note weight. Uh, that's for tone and timbre. Now let's talk about technicalities for this. Uh, in terms of technical performance, they are pretty okay for 89 US dollars. Soundstage is average. Okay, soundstage has got good height and width as well. The overall landscape of this sound soundscape is okay. It's uh, not the widest. It's not the most holographic as well. It's pretty average in terms of soundscape. Uh, in terms of the uh, sound separation and the uh, imaging is pretty good right uh, I should give that to it basically I can hear sound coming from the left and the right and very good separation of the instruments and the vocals as well so uh, yeah very good sound separation and imaging I can pinpoint where the instruments are from the left to the right channel uh, in terms of detail retrieval now the detail retrieval on this is not the sharpest uh, because of the tuning this is a very bassy I am and most of the uh, details are veiled by the bass so I can pick up some nuances depending on the tracks but uh, if it's not you know it does not have that bass presence I can pick up quite a bit of nuances but if you know if uh, most of my songs I have a lot of bass so uh, so I can't really pick up some of the nuances okay but in the overall resolution of this IEM is a very resolving IEM for the price of 89 US dollars okay so that's for the technical performance of this now let's talk about the sound signature let me bring up my graph right so this is the graph of the Tangju Fudu and uh, looking at this graph this is a very um, common graph I would say a lot of IEMs have this graph uh, a little bit of elevation to the uh, sub bass and mid bass uh, which veils the uh, mids and the treble is a very safe treble with uh, yeah a very smooth treble well not the smoothest uh, but uh, still a very safe treble with no harshness or hot spot or uh, spiciness and it you know trails off pretty nice so overall this is actually a very nice and uh, 
uh, safe tuning I would say and uh, very comfortable easy listening is casual sounding is fun sounding uh, and overall a very mature fun sounding I would say no weight of it overall is quite heavy and uh, you can feel the texture of the music uh, coming to your ears right now uh, in terms of sub bass the sub bass is extended it's got good note weight it's heavy uh, and it's textured as well it's got a lot of color to it uh, and overall very engaging sub bass uh, I can feel that rumble rumble is nice and thick uh, in terms of the mid bass mid bass is punchy impactful and uh, it's got a good heavy note weight to the punch and then uh, overall the texture of that punch is also very mature sounding uh, and overall a pretty okay uh, in terms of speed uh, but uh, I would say the the mid bass is yeah quite impactful and quite present now in terms of the lower mids where all the instruments are this is uh, a bit veiled right it's veiled by the uh, bass as you can see is uh, overwhelming the entire frequency here so in terms of my instruments like uh, pianos and trumpets and flutes uh, they do have some clarity there thanks to the balance armature is actually bringing out some clarity and the resolution of the uh, instruments it's just that it's being veiled uh, by the bass itself and I can hear that sound separation I mean crossover somewhere around here but uh, I can hear that sound separation very clearly instruments are instruments bass are bass uh, and uh, overall uh, I would say it's clear but it's veiled by the bass bass okay now in terms of uh, female vocals and male vocals female vocals they sound a little bit laid back uh, even though uh, they have got that clarity there but they are a bit uh, laid back and not really sparkly right and uh, in terms of engagement uh, female vocals are all right they don't sound shouty they don't sound uh, sibilant as well so overall a very safe tuning for female vocals uh, and for male vocals they, okay male vocals they sound better on this they've got a better authority a better presence uh, and good tone uh, in terms of the warmness and the engagement of the male vocals and uh, I would say male vocals sounds a little bit better uh, male vo uh, female vocals they do sound good on this it's just that not as exciting as I would love for it to be but yeah it's uh, not a very bright uh, treble now in terms of the gain to the treble as you can see this is the reason why female vocals don't really sound as uh, engaging as and energetic as I would love it's because the, of the gain and the basically about the 2k region here uh, it tends to plateau out and even out uh, and that's where female vocals lack that energy and that uh, drive to have that sparkle at the top end uh, so basically female vocals they sound all right okay cymbal strikes hi-hats especially the crashes uh, and the taps you know they sound a little bit on the darker side okay uh, in terms of brightness as I mentioned it's not the brightest I am and it does uh, trail down a little bit here but it does go back up uh, somewhere at the 8k region and that will give a bit you know a bit more of the brightness but again you know the the, the brightness is actually the overall uh, treble so overall what I hear on this treble is that it's a pretty dark and safe treble uh, and it's not a, a offensive treble it's a very safe listening type of treble okay uh, and it trails off pretty naturally uh, so I can, with all my instruments my claps uh, female vocals electric guitars uh, the trail loss the picks and everything they it sounds very natural when it trails off for the treble okay so that's the overall tuning of this uh, Tangju Fudu and I would say this is a uh, quite a casual listening uh, experience uh, I would say uh, most jo genre will make uh, most genre will, of most genre will be suitable for this uh, mainstream uh, pop songs uh, trance techno uh, hip-hop heavy metal they, they sound they all sound pretty good on this uh, classical not so much and uh, not so much on the critical listening uh, or more of a neutral listening not so much for that as well so I would say yeah this is more for the general public and uh, more for those who just want to enjoy uh, your music and have a musical experience uh, when listening to your music right so this is uh, in general this how this sounds and uh, my rating for this uh, Tangju uh, Fudu uh, is three stars out of five stars okay uh, so that's my general rating now I would like to compare this 
with one IEM and this is the uh, Blonde Z300 and this is tuned uh, by HBB uh, and this IEM right uh, it's 40 bucks right $40 and this Tangju uh, Fudu is $89 it's almost double the price of this um, Z300 and in terms of tuning I just want to show it to you All right, so the blue line is the Z300 and the Fudu is the red line. So in terms of tuning, uh, these two have very similar tuning, uh, but the price is almost double. All right, first thing I just want to say, uh, in terms of price to performance, uh, the Z300 is definitely uh, in way superior in terms of price to performance. This delivers uh, a very good sound for the price that it's asking for uh, but to be fair the accessories that comes with the uh, Z300 and the box and the presentation and all, and all that uh, is um, inferior to the uh, Fudu okay uh, but in terms of sound delivery all right here I focus on sound I don't really look at the accessories I mean I, it does matter a little bit to me but most importantly is the sound and both of these uh, they sound fun they sound exciting and uh, to me uh, the Z300 has got a bit more body uh, when it comes to the overall sound delivery uh, the Fudu uh, would sound a little bit brighter a little bit more sharper okay a bit more sharper uh, as compared to the Z300 the tone of this is a little bit on the lighter side and uh, you know, you know, for me, is that if you want to go uh, warm, you go warm all the way. And then this, this is actually warm. I would say this is a warm sounding IEM. This is also a warm sounding IEM. It's uh, also fun sounding. So, if you talk about being fun, right? Uh, the Z three hundred does give me a bit more fun uh, as compared to the Fudu. Okay, uh, but in all fairness, right? The uh, overall resolution of the Fudu. Uh, is much much more superior than the Z300 okay uh, and the overall technical performance of the Fudu is much better than the Z300 the Z300 they sound fun at the same time they sound really rounded and pretty analog sounding as compared to the Fudu okay so overall uh, the Fudu uh, would sound much better it's just that it's not as fun and as casual sounding as the uh, Z300 Okay, so that's my very quick comparison with the Z300 and also that concludes my overall review for the Tangzhu Fudu. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I hope you guys have a great day ahead and I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.